In Switzerland, each year, a good two-thirds of young people opt to pursue vocational education and training at the end of their compulsory schooling. They can choose from around 230 different apprenticeships as a gateway to the world of work and to further education. This might be federal professional examinations, the vocational baccalaureate, or other vocational qualifications at professional colleges. Each year, around 300,000 people are in training across the VPET system, including adults. The Swiss VPET system is hugely successful and creates a highly skilled workforce for the Swiss economy. But the labour market is currently undergoing rapid change. To ensure that the VPET system remains fit for the future, the VPET partners, the Confederation, Cantons and Professional Organisations, have launched the VPET 2030 initiative. Its main objective is to make training offers more flexible and to adapt the system to lifelong learning. The federal government's VPET policy forms part of its promotion of education, research and innovation. For the funding period 2021 to 2024, the Confederation has defined the following objectives for VPET. Improve advisory services across the whole of a person's educational and professional career. Increase the use of new digital learning technologies. Optimize cooperation between the VPET partners. Reduce bureaucracy. The Confederation contributes 25% of public funding for VPET. That is around 4 billion francs for 2021 to 2024. Most of this takes the form of fixed sums for the cantons. The Confederation also funds innovative projects, for example, on the development of new professions. Furthermore, it provides funding for graduates of professional education and for basic skills courses for adults.